Hi, everyone. <sighs> so what I'm feeling is to um, give a little bit more of a conceptual framework in terms of how this really differs from any other immersion experience workshop. And it's that what I see a lot is people attending workshops and reading lots of books and following teachers and trying to get information from out there, you know, to fill the void and to shift the uncomfortability. And a lot of what's available out there only penetrates us at a consciousness level. And so we know, you know, practice forgiveness, come into the light, open your heart, live from a compassionate space. And that's all very beautiful. And that was my training from a very early age. My father's like, you know, divine masculine incarnate. The piece that was missing for me was my nervous system wasn't being taken into account. So it was like, you know, I spent a long time counselling women, helping them in the transition from maiden to mother, did a law degree, teaching degree, um, honours in philosophy, hugely educated, had all of the intellectual framework I needed to be spiritual and to be successful, and then I got cervical cancer. And I met this incredible man sitting over here, and I started to enter the terrain of really feeling into my womb, feeling into the emotional body, and undergoing shamanic experiences that allowed me to really look at what was, what was happening in the nervous system, and it was this. You know, I'm this like climbing the proverbial ladder of success and making everything work in my life, two children, everyone who looked at me, it was like, wow. And inside, I'm just like, look, I'm shaking now, just going back to that time in my life. And not long after I met Sai, I met this incredible being, and then later Janine, who have all had a huge impact. And when I first did my training, I remember um, we got to the part where we had to feel anger and I'm like, I don't have any anger, you know. And Des came up to me and said, you know, he wanted to involve me in the, in the embodiment exercise that we were doing. And I'm like, no, I can't do it. And he's like, this is where your work's going to be. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> and I had so much frigging rage in my system. And so what this does is it gives you a gateway into the unconscious because when we're dealing with the conscious, those, li those parts of our lives that we're stuck, they stay stuck. Who can relate to attending heaps of workshops, doing lots of work in, on yourself, and there's still this place where you're still stuck? Show me. Right. Because we're not just fucking conscious beings. We are animals. We have hearts. And there is fucking pain in there. And there is rage in here. And it needs to be released. And, you know, people say to me, I've, as well as being a facilitator, I host a lot of the trainings and I host a lot of my own events. And a question I'm commonly asked is, you know, but, um, you know, it, it's, it's about sexuality. It's about going into the dark. And I, I don't understand how I can benefit from that. This training is not about sexuality. This training is not about darkness. It just doesn't fucking exclude them. Because sexuality is a part of life and it's a beautiful part of life. And our animal and the darkness, that is a part of our life. And the more that we deny it, the more that it just comes up and takes control of our life. So that we're not actually choosing, we're not choosing from a place of, how am I feeling? Where are my boundaries? Feeling into our awareness. What the training is, it's an approach to reconfiguring your shamanic infrastructure in such a way that you are a whole being. And when Glenn was talking about, um, you know, that was really beautiful when he, his child, you know, out of the wisdom of babes, I love it. 
asking, you know, when do you become an adult? You become an adult when you realise that you no longer need your parents. We look for our parents in the beloved. We look for our parents in our teachers. What the training does is it gives you an inner family. So that child that's been fucking abused can finally have a mother and a father right here. And so this beautiful integration of the divine masculine and feminine starts to take place. So that's, that's how I see the training. It's integrated embodiment, masculine, feminine, dark and the light. It's all part of us. It's all beautiful. Can we just be present with it? So present with it that we become love instead of searching for it and we become free instead of searching for our freedom.